Welcome back, everyone. I'm the Depressed Hero. This is Langster Mobile Apex Season 17. All right, again, same week. This is week two. Uh, this box is, a, box is a little bit more scary. Um, we got a lot of the uh, the big names here, um, some of which I don't remember the names of, so give me a moment. All right, so yeah, the one I had to look up was Andriel. Uh, we've got SP Ultimate Molar. we got Tensei Jessica with Teleports and Other Nonsense. We have... Um, uh, Girl Nichelle, um, we have Namiya, SP, uh, SP Sherry, we got Azolde, uh, got Eshian here, got Lena. The big thing here is the Andriel, because he is going to be a problem. Uh, so I was like, oh man, he's gonna like, my, I have to pick Azolde first, because I, I have to get rid of that um, before it, you know, charges up and becomes crazy. Uh, my opponent does ban a healer right off the bat, so. I go ahead and ban Azolde. Oh, I guess one other thing to note. Uh, one... One tank? Yeah, one tank, one healer? Uh, one tank, two healers, it looks like. Alright, so ban Azolde. Grab uh, Liana here. I go ahead and ban my Lightbringer and ban my um, Awakened. Go ahead and grab their Rosen Seal at this point. Um, so I'm down to three tanks again. Um, I go ahead and get rid of Andriel, get rid of the Awakened one. Not dealing with that nonsense. Grab Isolde. And uh, not uh, I guess this is a pattern in Silver 3, but they ban my other two tanks, leaving me with just Freya. They grab Lina. So I go ahead and get rid of Nemea, get rid of Eshian. So no act agains. Grab Freya. Gets rid of my Eshian, gets rid of Nemea. Grabs Christiane, which is fine because I'm all physical anyway. Get rid of uh, Tensei Jessica, get rid of Grenchiel, which this one was actually a flyer. Um, grab Sylvaria. They get rid of my Florentia, get rid of my um, uh, Tatalia. They grab their girl in the shell. I get rid of. Um, yeah, I kind of just got rid of just anything that stood out as like. That would just hit hard. I was, the only concern that I have about Sherry is she can stun and then follow up. But that's not really that big of a deal. So get rid of SP uh, Elwin, get rid of SP Ultimuller. And this leaves me with Connie and Sissy White. And I grab Sissy White. Um, they do have a bunch of casters, so dealing having multiple healers is a good call. And then this also gives me two act agains. So yeah. Look at this, Freya's just getting on the field again. Alright, we got Sissy White, uh, heals with 3C, uh, Isolde, you know the drill. Uh, Freya, same stuff as before with Redeemers, uh, Liana, same kit, act again, heal and uh, 3C, and then Silvarius, usual kit, uh, disarm, 3C, sneak with deck gunners. Uh, we got Sherry here, brought lightning speed in 3C, and Gallop with Unicorns. Uh, we've got Christiane here, who's Holy Shield Fallen Petals and Lady of the Flowers. So I'm assuming she doesn't have an inscription in chat. That's my only assumption here. Uh, everything else here I think is okay. Yeah, I think so. All right, uh, Rosen Seal here, all heals with Sorceresses. Uh, we've got Lena here, who has Dragon Slave, Ragnar Blade. So kind of a standard Lena kit there. And then we've got Girl in the Shell. So the only source of an uh, attack buff for Lena is potentially Girl in the Shell if she gets um, mass attack with the Arcane Traversal. Uh, Girl in the Shell here has Link Smash, um, her 3C. Yeah, this is her 3C. And then Arcane Traversal, which is the one that gives her just random three spells to pick from. All right, uh, so uh, my tank can go all the way to here. Uh, Silvaria can go to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, my opponent started up pretty far forward, so I have I'm in snipe range of pretty much everyone but Girl in the Shell at this point. So I keep that in mind. So yeah, mass attack. So not too big of a deal. I don't even bo I don't even I didn't even bother looking up what sort of buff she was picking because it's not going to matter. Primordial Soul. I kind of hesitated about how aggressive I wanted to push forward with Isolde. Um, as you so you'll see me pull back here. Um, I did pick Sustenance. Uh, Sustenance is the cooldown reduction that also provides the heal. 
So yeah, I go ahead and just fall back and keep it safe for now. So yeah, just passing turns. I'm literally just waiting to see what my opponent does. Um, I I could potentially uh, snipe Rosen Seal right now. Um, go ahead and put up 3C on uh, Sylvaria. Get that out of the way. Okay, so Lena passed, so now Lena's in attack range as well. So I go ahead and get set up here. So there's kind of a little risk here, depending on what um, Sherry does. Sherry could push aggressively. Um, yeah, if I. Yeah, she played it like maybe moved here, or just moved just a little bit closer so she can be in attack range of Savaria. She could do something cheeky like stun Freya and then you know, try to snipe somebody else. Um, but that would require her to move forward. Uh, so that was the only thing I was a little concerned about, but I would still probably do the same actions where I would snipe Lena first, and then whatever trade I have to make with Sherry, that's fine, because it'll still leave one some, uh, at least one person alive for me to clean up with. Uh, but she passed in play, uh, past turn, so I she can't do anything. She can't counter me. So with this in mind, I go ahead and take out Lena first, because she's already in anger mode. Alright, crit for a million. Alright. So I go ahead and start pushing forward, and you can see Sherry moved back. Probably trying to get out of range of the sniping, uh, but it's not enough. So I was like, all right, well, you passed your turn, so I can go ahead and do this again. So act again on uh, Sylvaria here. Move up, set up again. Yeah, I, I, this picking uh, Liana first has been, it's been doing work. I mean, it's definitely not perfect. Um, my opponent could do something like ban Isolde and Sylvaria, and that would actually make things a little bit more difficult. But right now, I'm 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 kind of free here. So yeah, three C here, which has three range conveniently, lets me do snipe at thirty percent attack, and dead. And then I move up here just to get the Zolde set up because she's going to be able to kill next round because she has she'll have guard bypass. All right, and yeah, quick and easy. All right, so that was uh, so I had one match after this, um, which um, my opponent banned my I think she banned my Rose and Seal, and I grabbed my Liana, and then she gave up. And that was the entire fight. So she didn't actually we didn't get go beyond ban pick. Um, the first win I got, um, I got like only like 15 rank points, uh, but every win after that gave me l like tons more. Like I think I was getting like high 20s from this and then high 30s and then this got me to silver, th uh, silver 2 here. So I'm silver 2 now. Uh, I have done my 10, uh, uh, 10 matches here, so I did get my weird redeemer skin or whatever it is. Um, obviously the goal here is to get the skin here for um, uh, Anna. Which is, honestly, it's a really cool looking skin. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll probably try to push for Silver 1 next uh, next week and kind of go from there. Um, I guess there's not much else to say. Uh, this week has been pretty busy, uh, but I'm pretty. this was a nice palette cleanser starting at Silver 3 and fighting you know boxes that are not all meta. And it's also nice fighting people that don't know as much about Silvari as they probably should. Um, so it was a lot of fun. Um, this uh, first picking um, Liana is definitely working out. Um, there's not really. Uh, some people did ask if I was going to be p uh, grabbing uh, future Imel Imelda in the f um, later on. Uh, I don't intend to, because uh, her thing's about mostly for rushing. Uh, but I'll, I'll probably take a look at her kit and see if there's anything that really stands out. Uh, but on that same month. Um, Zerida is going to get her inscription enchant and that it's or inscription talent, and that's going to make it so she's viable as an assassin again. So she's going to be replacing Connie when that comes, and uh, that'll definitely give me some uh, some killing power. Uh, for the most part, she'll end up just being tr uh, used to trade kills, but still, that's 
her range is just going to be really helpful. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. Um, this week, uh, yeah, I mentioned this week's been pretty busy. Um, I so busy that I actually did not do my world uh, arenas this uh, this week, which don't do that because you're missing out on crystals there. But uh, yeah, besides that, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. I'm the Depressed Hero. This was Langstrom Mobile Apex Season 17, and look, my win rate 60%. See you guys next time.